Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare two 22 caliber cartridges. In fact, two of the fastest cartridges ever made in factory form. I'm going to compare here the 22 250 Remington, and I'm going to compare it to the fastest factory 22 caliber cartridge, the 220 Swift. So we're going to look at the history of these cartridges, the performance, and how they compare to each other. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's first look at the 22250 Remington. This cartridge uh, for a long time was a Wildcat. Uh, it was first uh, started uh, in the late 30s, and it didn't become a factory offered cartridge from Remington until 1967. Now the parent case, it kind of has a, a neat little history to it. The parent case to the 22250 Remington is the 250 3000. Now the 253000 has a neat, some neat history to it. It is the first cartridge that was able to push a bullet over 3,000 feet per second. So what Wildcatters did with this cartridge is they took that same case and necked it down to 22 caliber. And what it does is produce extremely fast velocities in this small 224 diameter bullet. Let me go ahead and show you uh, some of the velocities. A very popular bullet is a 35 grain because you're going to be able to get this going 4,400 feet per second when you hand load it. Just crazy, crazy velocities. Uh, the 40 grain, 4,100 feet per second. Nosler says you can get this going like 4,300. Now let's look at some of the more common bullets, you know, that you're used to shooting in like a 223 Remington or a 556 NATO. And as you can see here, still going 3,800, 37, then a 55 grain is going 3,700 feet per second. So it has a, a pretty big advantage over the 5.56 five, or 2.223. Now before I move on to the 220 Swift, I just wanted to show you the difference between a 22.250 Remington and a 2.23 Remington or a 5.56 five, NATO. So as you can see, uh, well, the 22250 has quite a bit uh, wider case, and interestingly enough, the 22250 actually uses a large rifle primer, while the 223 uses a small rifle primer. Now the difference in velocity between these two, well, the 22250 Remington has roughly about a 400 to 500 feet per second advantage when using the same weight grain bullet compared to the 223 Remington. Now let's look at the fastest factory cartridge ever made, and that is the 220 Swift. This cartridge was introduced in 1935 by Winchester, so it is a Winchester cartridge, and it was introduced in their Model 54 rifle, just like the 270 Winchester was. And uh, this cartridge is based off the 6mm Lee Navy cartridge which was a brief uh, military cartridge that, well, it was replaced by the 3040 Craig, which was eventually replaced by the 3003 Springfield and then turned into the 30-06. Uh, but uh, let's just look at the differences with this cartridge compared to the 22250. So here's a 22250. And let me just put this down here. So the 220 Swift is a bit longer. It's not as actually as wide as the 22250, but as you can see, it's going to have a bit more powder in this. But let's see how much faster the 220 Swift is over this guy. Starting out with the 35 grain bullet, and it's not that much faster, only going 4,500. I know, only going. It's ridiculously fast, but about 100 feet per second faster with the 35 grain bullet. And then the 40 grain bullet, it's going 4,300 feet per second. Maybe you get 4,400. Let's just go up to the bigger bullet, the 55 grain. Let's see. And again, it's about 100 feet per second advantage over the 22250 Remington, and about five to 600 feet per second faster than a 556 NATO or a 223 Remington. It's moving. Looking at the ballistics chart, we're going to start with the 22250 Remington. We are going to use that Hornady bullet, that 35 grain NTX bullet with a 
very abysmal BC of 0.177. But as you can see, when we do this, it's not really going to matter. It's going to be shooting so ridiculously flat. So with a muzzle velocity of 4,400 feet per second, energy is at 1,500 foot-pounds, which isn't bad. Now what's so great about these really fast 22 cartridges is the minimal recoil. It's going to have around 5 pounds of recoil in an 8.5 pound rifle, which is not a lot. So let's just see how it does. Um, you know, these are meant to be as varmint cartridges. So you're not really going to take these out to 1,000 yards. I would say you're going to keep it within 400 yards. And, you know, when you sight it in at 100 yards, just look at how flat it is. 200 yards, only an inch of drop out to 400, roughly 16 inches of drop, which is ridiculously flat. Uh, the cartridge is obviously losing a lot of speed because it's not a high BC bullet. And the energy is just not there, which it doesn't really matter. Again, this is a varmint cartridge. This is what it's meant to do. So, uh, you're really, you know, going to be shooting, what, coyotes and prairie dogs. So you really don't need that energy. You just want a flat cartridge, which this is very good at. Okay, time to look at the 220 Swift Ballistics. Same bullet. Um, it's going 100 feet per second faster at 4,500. So the energy is just a little bit more, almost 1,600 foot-pounds. Recoil, I don't know if you're really going to see a difference or notice it. But let's go ahead and see how flat this is. So at 200 yards, less than an inch of drop when you zero it at 100. 300 yards, only 5.5 inches of drop. Crazy flat. And at 400, 15 inches of drop. So it's about a little less than an inch difference from the 22-250 Remington. But... Again, an absolute incredible varmint cartridge. So which one would I pick between these two? Logically speaking, I would really have to go with the 22250 Remington. You're really not losing that much more velocity. And the 22250 Remington is very popular, still made in almost all the rifles. Sadly, you cannot say the same for the 220 Swift. In fact, it's almost a dead cartridge. Uh, there are a couple rifle manufacturers that still offer it, but there's really hard, not many people do. Uh, what has happened was, unfortunately, uh, this cartridge kind of had the same fortunes as the 264 Wind Mag. It was that it got a bad reputation as a very bad barrel burner. So when the 22250 Remington came out in the 60s, it really kind of sunk the 220 Swift in popularity, unfortunately. Uh, again, you can still get this cartridge, but it's a lot harder to find than a 22250 Remington. So if I was a collector, I'd definitely get a 220 Swift just because I don't know how much longer this cartridge is going to be around. Uh, but uh, if you're just wanting a cartridge, you can easily find ammo and easily find a gun. The answer is obviously the 22250 Remington. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of these two cartridges. Which one do you prefer? Uh, they're pretty sweet cartridges, almost no recoil, and they're going really fast. And so it, they're a lot of fun to shoot. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.